Hello, 47. The Fuchs brothers are at it again. Franz Fuchs appears to be planning to detonate a chemical bomb at a UN conference in Budapest. He's staying at the Thermal Bath Hotel. He's registered as Björn Wolf. Our client wants Fuchs taken out as discreetly as possible and wants the bomb retrieved for analysis. Security is very tight, so discretion is the key. Once you've taken care of business, we'll send a car to pick you up. You heard that right? The Fuchs brothers are at it again. You remember earlier on in the game? We took out Fabian Fuchs and our France and uh, Fritz Fuchs. Um, <laughs> they're just, the names get me every time. But this right here is traditions of a trade. Why don't you just look at this beautiful setting, this thermal bath hotel setting. And this is easily one of the most popular missions in the entire Hitman franchise. It's definitely up there. It might even be the most popular mission, and rightfully so. Whether it's on this remake or the Conan 47. See, this is a remake. We're officially in the remakes now. The original was Conan 47, Traditions of a Trade. Um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think I like the original Conan 47. Traditions of a Trade a little bit better than this one for its own reason. And uh, But no, this one's beautiful as well. This is a great remake and um, deserving of a title of one of the most popular of all time. And now we've got to go ahead and show our ID card. <laughs> for get in. It's a very high class hotel, of course. There we go, we're accepted in. We've got to go through his mail detectors now, so we're carrying any guns, anything like that. Well, they're going to know about it, but we're not. And won't you just look at this? How grand looking is this hotel? This is such a classic location for a Hitman mission to take place. Welcome to the Thermal Bath Hotel, Mr. Uh, Metzger. Please sign the register. I see my friend Mr. Wolf is staying in room 202. Oh, Mr. Wolf, he's a very pleasant gentleman. Uh, here is your key, sir. You will need this key to charge room service, claim your meal, charge messages, manicures, pedicures, or pay for stuff. Enjoy your stay, sir. He didn't sound the most convinced there, did he, when he said, uh, Mr. Wolf is a pleasant gentleman. Yeah, <laughs> he, did not very, he did not sound very convinced at all with that one. And you might get tired of hearing me say this, but or hearing me talking about <laughs> the location of this this mission, but it really does work. It's such a classic location. Whoa, chill out. Jeez. Well, back to what I was saying. Um, Yeah, this is now a remake officially. Um, uh, Technically, the last mission was also a remake, but that was kind of like a merge of two missions, so it kind of made a new mission, if that makes sense. You know, it was a merge of... It was, it was a remake of two missions in one, so I guess that makes it its own thing. This is official remake. Everything after this is officially a remake apart from the last mission. And, um, oh, will this guard leave? See, the reason I've come here, because this is my room 301, and I'm actually just coming to steal that key card. I timed it right. And, uh, but yeah, that guard is making my life. Okay. Uh, what a fool. Hello to you, sir. We've got quite a nice room, haven't we? We've got a beautiful view off a balcony. But, um, I was sort of saying it earlier, but I prefer the original Conan 47 Traditions of a Trade to this remake. And, uh, for different reasons, I'll explain. So, the original Conan 47 was set at daytime. This is set, obviously, raining. It's more morbid world of Hitman. And I like that. I like that about this mission, that it is raining. I just prefer the daytime setting, that's all. But I'm so glad we have two different versions. But I think the daytime setting makes the hotel look much prettier. Um, that one's set in like a city when you look outside. This one's more of like a countryside, I guess. And if I was staying in a hotel, I'd much rather be by the countryside. Don't you start again. Uh, but yeah, in you know, in terms of the, the way the mission looks outside, I think the city looks really nice. And uh, just in general, I think the Conan 47, I mean, it's impressive, first of all, because some of the missions in Conan 47 don't 
really work too well. I mean, I love Code Name 47, but some of the missions are just a bit strange, like they're a bit out there. That one is so like classic Hitman, and it's in my game, and it just works for that game for me. And that's just my reasons, that's personal. But I, I love this too, I love this remake too. And it's also very nice. And I'm also going to steal your key in a minute. <laughs> Go on. They're not too bright of you leaving the master keys on the outside of a door like that. Pretty sure they'd get fired if they got found out. Let's speak to this gentleman. I'd like to see Mr. Wolf. You got an appointment? We're old friends. Aha. Uh -huh. Then you won't have no trouble getting an appointment. You're making me want to kill you, and I know that I can't. Wow, he's a dick. Now, of course, we want to take out France folks, but we can't get in that way because of his asshole security. So, um, let's make a quick save here, actually. These ninja skills are unheard of. <laughs> this jump is sick. And this is about to be the most silent assassin I get in this whole game. You see that guard there? Come on, come on to the balcony. Oh my god, wait till you watch this, okay. Watch this. Oh my god. You having a nice shower, Franz? You having a nice shower? Psycho! <laughs> I don't think the god's ever gonna come in here, but I just wanna make sure he's in there anyway. Might cover him a little bit. Okay, he's coming back in. Oh wow, I really didn't even <laughs> I really didn't even hide him, did I? Uh that's better. That's kinda cool, huh? Just taking a look in the mirror. Body behind me. God, is that god ever gonna leave? Come on. Why is he even going onto the balcony? Is he just like guarding the place? Oh, okay, he's leaving. Maybe he's bird watching. Maybe that's what he's doing. Right, watch this. Remember what I said about being the most silent assassin? I learned about this a couple of years ago. Watch this. If I just walked out there with a briefcase, that guy would shoot me to pieces. But you can exploit the game like that. Now, usually, I don't really exploit these games. If I'm playing the game seriously, sometimes I'll just go in and do it for fun. But if I'm playing the game seriously, I don't do it. But that one is too good not to show you. Actually. Yeah. I was going to go that way but I want to show you that later because there's actually a need to go that way later oh I'm not a need but well I'll show you later hello sir don't freak out on me I'm just a high class gentleman with a, <laughs> with a briefcase Okay, you see my second target there. That's Fritz Fuchs. Now, um, this is going to take a long time. Right now, he's in the, uh, he's in the bath. Or the, the, the swimming pool, if you will. In fact, I think he's in the sauna. Yeah, or well, he was in the sauna. But um, either way, what he's going to do is he's going to come from that, you know, the swimming bath, the sauna, that area. He's going to go up to the bar and it's going to take forever. So when he goes up to the bar... I'm going to skip it because I don't want to have to, you know what I mean? I don't want you guys to have to sit and watch that. It, it honestly goes on forever. For him to finish in the bar, it's painful. So I'll wait. I'll fast forward the time for you guys. And they get back to you whenever he's back. But he's not even here yet, so. Let's just allow him to make his way to the bar. Oh, here he is. No, he's not. Here he is. 
I'm going to make my way up there first. He's a very um, paranoid man. Um, I don't think he's ever going to get too suspicious of me, but... Yeah, I'll go up there first. Maybe we can have a look in some of these shop windows. But isn't that so cool, watching Agent 47? The entire game... So I've not mentioned this. This entire mission, I'm going to do in my suit. And you can do that. In my suit with a briefcase, this entire mission. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was a nice florist we just looked at. And here's a tailor. Very nice shops. Come on, Fritz. Do you know what? He might have actually got ahead of me. He did. Ha! <laughs> I'm waiting for him and he got ahead of me. That's all fine. Okay, like I said, I don't want to keep you waiting too long. So I'll get back to you when he's had his drink. And he appears to be ready. Yep, he's coming from the bar. And he's going to go back to the, uh, the swimming pool, the sauna and everything. And we're going to follow him in there. Now, one of the ways is guarded. This way is also guarded, but this guard isn't very good at his job. And he only goes there for like a second and walks back, look. We're going to take advantage of that and pick this lock. Now, picking locks takes a long time in this game, and a lot of people hate that. But I kind of like it. It's very, um, it's very suspenseful. Now, um, I'll find a place to leave my suitcase behind. Looks like he'll be safe here. Nope. <laughs> and um, we're going to do more waiting in a minute. Yay! But don't worry, I'll skip that as well. But um, if you think he took a long time at the bar, he takes an even longer time in the swimming pool, relaxing on his back. But oh my god, can I just say, this is my favourite section of the entire mission. This is my favourite part of the map. And I'll show you why in a minute. Let's just wait for this guard to go. Come on. Yeah, we shouldn't take too long, don't worry about this. Come on, buddy, I need to sneak past you. Okay, there he goes. And the reason I said this is my favourite bit is just look at this. How beautiful. How grand is this swimming pool? This whole location is absolutely beautiful. And like just the image of Agent 47 sneaking around this pool, I just think it's amazing. But we're going to be waiting here a while because he's going to take a while laying on his back. So uh, I'll not bore you. And uh, I'll get back to you when he's finished in the pool. Ooh. Alright guys, we're back. Fritz has just finished in the pool. And now he wants to go and soak up in the sauna. And um, we're going to make sure he relaxes. You go in there and enjoy yourself, Fritz. And I'll make sure to turn the heating up a little. <laughs> Ooh, it's ganz schön heiß hier drinne. Oh. Was ist hier los? Verdammte Scheiße. Verdammt nochmal, was ist hier los? Lass mich raus, lass mich raus, lass mich raus. Ich hab, ich hab, verdammt nochmal, ich hab Herzprobleme, lass mich raus. Ich hab Klausophobie. Oh Gott. Ah. Ah. Mr. Fritz, you poor man, I forgot you had a heart condition. <laughs> but I'll be taking that x-ray card, or key. 
and uh, just make sure that door shut. Uh, show himself, I'm sure, anyway. And uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Fritz. I just want to be sure if his guards don't see me, but um, I think I should be all right sneaking by. Again, just look how beautiful this pool is. It's, it's honestly, I love this bit. I would love to stay in like a, a hotel and be able to go to a pool like this. Wouldn't it be relaxing? Uh, we should be good now. We can go ahead and grab our suitcase. And make our way to the x-ray room where we need to get the bomb. Because of course, as you've seen, this... If I just walk through the hotel with a with a nuclear bomb in my hand, it might be a bit of a problem. But you've seen this uh, suitcase. You can go right through the X-ray, the uh, the metal detectors. Will be no problem. Let's make a save. So you remember me earlier? I was about to go through a door, and I was like, "No, I'll show you later." Now's the time to show you, because uh, this is the best way to go through. Wait for his guard to go because he needs to pick this door. And there's a guy sitting right there, you see him. But he's actually. He's sleeping. Or napping. And he won't. He won't care. <laughs> there we go. King doors. Did you notice the atmosphere? Seems to have gone a bit chilly. That's only because the place is haunted. Look, there's a ghost! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. There's no one there. There's a man in the mirror. When I turn around, there's nobody there. See it? Same with this one. There's a ghost in the mirror. There seems to be a ghost roaming the hallways. If we're looking at it, it's actually quite funny. There's a cop in his underwear. But yeah, this is one of the most famous Easter eggs of all time. The place is haunted. Let's find out what happened here. What's going on, officer? There has been an accident, sir. Please move along. Nothing of interest here. Just a nasty accident. Well, I don't believe a word he says because if you actually go all the way in there, you'll find a bloody bath with a shotgun in it. And when I say bloody bath, the bath is actually filled with blood. But we can make our way to the X-ray room now. Have a nice steady stroll up there. And like I mentioned earlier, we're doing this entire mission suit only. Isn't that cool? This is this is this is definitely why people love this mission so much. Not only for the location, but you do the whole thing suit only. It's just really cool to see him out in this location. And I've played this mission so much, I know it like the back of my hand. Now what I usually do is I'll leave my suitcase on this rooftop. There's a guard in this room, he's usually not too much hassle though. Yeah, he's just looking out the window. We can sneak through him, or sorry, past him quite easily. Now this guard in here can be hassle, but we should be fine as long as we sedate him. Because, uh... He's just ridiculous to sneak past. God, don't turn around, don't turn around. Gotcha! Okay, let's go and uh, wanna, wanna speed things up now and get this bomb and get out of here before he wakes up. Obviously we need to go and get this bomb back in the suitcase. Let's wait for this guy. I don't know when he's gonna turn. 
I'm just going to wait for him to go back to the other window. It's quite a strange bloke, isn't it? Just staring out windows all day. Maybe he's another one of them bird watchers. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay, we can start sneaking. Nice, quietly. But fast. And uh, we can get this bomb back into that suitcase. But first, let me show you this. You can actually snipe. Fritz. From up. Opening right there. If you sneak the sniper in. The easiest way to sneak the sniper in is the same method I showed you earlier. Let's sneak in the suitcase. Now that we've completed all of our objectives, you hear that music by the way. It's really badass. And it honestly just makes me want to get out of here. It makes me want to leg it, honestly. We've been all, you know quiet, walking around this entire mission. Now I just want to get out of here. That's what it makes me feel like. It's frantic. It's like, run! And actually, in Code 47, if you run out of here and just sprint through that, um, that detector right there, it's really cool animation where he's like sprinting it to the car. I love that. I wish it was in this game. But that's that. Traditions of a trade. Great setting. Great mission. Epic ending. And that's why it's a fan favourite. Now let's get the hell out of here and see how we did. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. That is how we like to do it. All zeros. Silent Assassin. Only two saves. That is pretty good guys. Again, cheers for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Was her out. Spass 12 gauge. Handy.